What is up guys? It is Friday night, a Friday night in late October to be exact, and two things happen in late October in New England. The days get cold and the days get short. It's not even five o'clock yet and the sun's looking pretty low in the sky, uh, which is a bummer. The leaves are almost gone, which is a bummer, and the wheeling season is almost done, which is a huge bummer. But there's a little bit of time left, and because of that, uh, I'm meeting up with Matt tonight, and we're gonna do some night wheeling, because we're not gonna have sunlight here in another hour and a half, and we're definitely gonna be out for longer than that. I'm excited because I haven't gotten night wheeling in probably four years, like legitimate night wheeling, and it's gonna be great. I don't think I've ever done it on anything rugged either, because I've always been by myself. Matt has a couple of class six trails lined up for us in central, southern New Hampshire. I've never been on them. They're supposedly pretty awesome. That's what Matt claims. I believe him. I'm excited to see him, so uh, I'm hoping I set my camera up right and get some good footage of this because I think it's going to be a good time. Uh, but let's get out there, guys. Let's not waste any more time talking about it. Let's let's go wheel it.
Not bad, guys. <laughs> Definitely got some use today. Oh no! Oh crap! I just bent that back too. Oh well. <laughs> Let's get this thing washed up. I just realized I think I tweaked the tailgate too. I don't know how. Maybe I hit the bumper? I know I hit the rear bumper. Maybe I hit it hard enough to... There's no way. I deflected it that much. Let's see if it still opens. There it is guys, we made it. I'm sitting here in the car wash, having just cleaned this thing off. Um, there's a little bit of light in here, so I'm hoping you guys can see me. It's 10 o'clock at night, so not a lot of light to work with, but Matt was not kidding. Those trails were top notch, really rugged, really rocky, and to wheel them at night was a really cool experience. Uh, a little spooky, little, um, you know, adds another spice factor to it, but we both have tons of lights on our rigs so it really wasn't too bad it was kind of like daylight out there when you turn everything on and I had to thrash this thing a little bit to get through especially that last one that little rock garden there it would have been better to have a lower crawl ratio and uh, putting another case in this thing is top of my list for sure but we made it truck held up again this thing is just I, I can't even believe how well it does it, it really does a great job may not be a Rubicon but it sure uh, it gets around Season's just about over for me guys, unfortunately. This weekend the truck goes into a storage location. I can still get it out and wheel it again if the opportunity arises, but pretty soon we're gonna be transitioning to build season. I'm gonna be putting some new parts on the front end of this thing, uh, fixing up anything that's broken, doing some projects, and hopefully you guys are psyched for some of those videos. Uh, let me know what you wanna see, if anything, and um, I'll see what I can do. But I really appreciate you guys following along. I hope you enjoyed this footage. It's something a little different. Uh, make sure to hit that like button, comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe. Because just because the wheeling season's ending doesn't mean I'm going to stop putting out videos. So stay tuned for the next one. Hope you guys are excited. Um, and I'll see you soon. I'm going to go get some sleep. See you later.